Dzieci ram bo, 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 dzieci ram. To every Hamlet and every Ophelia, to every Cadmus and every Leah, to every Hecuba and every Hera, sing the ancestors, sing the ancestors. Adelina Gomes, Carlos Pertuis, Emílio de Barros, Fernando Diniz, Nisida Silveira. Nisida Silveira First afternoon, everybody. My missus has come to Thieves. That's Nisida Silveira. That's the ancestor that I am greeting, that I am saving. She is the responsible for me being a physician and actor going into psychiatry. Mm -hmm. And the title of our presentation is Madness, Yet There Is Method in It, which is a quotation from Hamlet, from Shakespeare, you know that. We are amongst people that are very involved with psychiatry and theater. And I come from this, that's the story I'm gonna tell you, the story of the Center of Culture and Science and Health <coughs> from the Public Health Office of Rio de Janeiro. That's the experience, the institutional experience that I had the opportunity to develop and I'm gonna tell the story very quickly, 20 minutes. So, no commercial interest, I work for the public health. I think we all work for the public health in the end. <laughs> this started in the Tupinago lab, which we, because we Brazilians, we have three foundational matrices. The Tupi, which is the Indian, the Nago, which is the Nigerian or the African, that we, I had to choose one, so I chose the Nago, and the European, so we are triple, triply mixed. This started uh, telling the story of a young physician who wanted to be a scientist, but he did not succeed. <coughs> and then he migrated to theater and uh, told this story. And when the public health officer of Rio de Janeiro got to know this work that we were developed, he invited me to construct this, de this department for culture and health that we transformed in culture, science, and health. You cannot change health without debating science, isn't it? And uh, this has generated some uh, blogs and publications from this period. Uh, the first thing we happened that happened was the cultural agent of health. Because I arrived in the public health, like I'm arriving here, and say, listen, let's work with culture, let's work with art, let's do things together. And the only people who got interested in that were the mosquito killers. We have this very interesting ca uh, professional category in Rio de Janeiro, which are the mosquito killers. That was Aldo Cruz brought from Pasteur and he planted 100 years ago. And we, and the mosquito killers were, were interested. So we seated in a circle and started to use this great Brazilian educator, Paulo Freire, that's uh, almost Frederick Hicklin, and they are almost the same, they even look like the same. <laughs> <laughs> and forms, for me, are very important, appearances are very important. So we try to follow Paulo Freire's work, and one of the agents of the mosquito killers, he draw this drawing. So they were, they were killing mosquitoes, putting poison on the sewers and communities, and then they started to read, and they started to look in the microscope, they started to have musical <laughs> education and theater education, and then he flies, flies through autonomy, and we still have them working with me, 48 cultural agents of health, that's quite miraculous, and not even I know how that happened exactly, but they, are, they keep working in the last six years. Some pictures of the group, 
and it's going to have a lot of pictures. So we started to develop methods of a cultural approach to community medicine, to community uh, health, and we started developing those cultural fairs of health and uh, culture, presenting the artists from the community to themselves. So we could present uh, people working. In the first year of work, we ended up uh, constructing this spectacle about Galileo Galilei, we adapted Bertolt Brecht, Life of Galileo, and the Earth is not the center of the universe was a product of this. And that's Galileo in the public square looking in the microscope and saying to people, hey, uh, the Earth is not the center of the universe. Things are changing. We are modified. He is condemned by Inquisition. You know the story. It's a very sad story, tragic story, actually. He was forced to condemn. So this profound collective way of working in the public space, dialoguing, improvising, and work in telling stories, and we started to evolve that. Today we have, out of this work, seven popular schools of health, which are uh, working in favelas, in poor communities, and they are sustained by those cultural agents of health working, val valuing the, manif the cultural manifestations from the territory. So we work with all kinds of people, from evangelic church, from gospel church, uh, Protestant churches, to candomblé, the uh, religion terrains. We work in the south zone of the city, we work in the west zone of the city, we work uh, cooperating what the territory has. The poor communities have a lot of competences. We find Umbanda, Candomblé, Carnaval, uh, social organization, Protestant church, so we have to stop looking to the problems and start looking to the competences. That's something that seems to be a shift in this approach in public health. So uh, our, our art crafts and uh, these three ladies worked with me in those uh, six years. They are still working. The group from the Candomblé terrain, from the Yemanja Popular School of Health, which is a very uh, prolific work involved in the uh, in the education in the popular education, uh, telling stories, all kinds of. Works and we have we started gathering groups and gathering collectives and gathering people, and we decided that we were working with another kind of knowledge and a different kind of knowledge. We saw that we were working with art and science in an integrated manner. We were working with culture and health at the same time. So then we decided to join our ancestors, our living ancestors. That's Amir Haddad, is a big Brazilian theater. That's Nelson Weiss, the immunologist who formed me. I had a formation in immunology, that's why I became this kind of strange person. And this is Antonio Pedro, a Brazilian actor who also supported our work, sitting in a circle, and then we decided to start a People's University for Art and Science that was born out of a map, of a territorial map. So we mapped many groups and people working with culture and health. For instance, the Instituto Tanahua in red here, for uh, th street theater, that's the school I had for the street theater. And another very important in blue here, as you can see, is the Museum of Images of the Unconscious, which is the work of Dr. Nisa da Silveira. And we started to do continuing information, interchanges, seminars, congresses in an art science manner. So we sing all the time, we, we clap all the time, we dance all the time, like the Indians do and like the Africans do. That's why we Brazilians may have some uh, contribution to make in this world of bringing those matrices to encounter as we did in our culture. Uh, we started this idea, the, the saber em todo ser, the knowing in every being. And this was the first congress for the People's University that happened in 2000, 2011 in the most important uh, the Rio de Janeiro theater, the Carlos Gomes Theater, a uh, 150 years old theater. And we were doing those public performances, uh, dancing and singing and bringing scientists, researchers, all kind of people to dialogue and do, doing music and uh, improvisational theater and dialoguing is the commandment. And we thought we could be able to do some alchemy, to transform uh, base metal into gold. And that's what is happening. That's, I think, what our mission is, to transform this seas into uh, helpless. I have to speak about her because she's really important. Dr. Nisa da Silveira, one of our most important ancestors. 
Her was a pioneer in zoo therapy, also in art therapy, in the many uh, uh, fields. She, she started this work in 1946, so it's really old in Brazil. Although it's very little known in Brazil, even in Brazil, uh, because we are a colonized country and we don't value ourselves, you know that. But we have uh, been working on this in the Municipal Institute, Nis da Silveira, who is the oldest, which is the oldest Brazilian hospice in Rio de Janeiro. And it's a huge area, 8,000 square meters. And I want you all to come, I want Loris, of course, that I want to thank for allowing me to do this. And you all to come and occupy the institute with art, science, music, dance, cultural psychiatry, research, hard research. We have a lot of space, a totally mad city. People is night in Janeiro and Robin and stuff. But we need, I think that cultural psychiatry has a mission in public health, in public health construction. And out of the ateliers that Dr. Nisi <coughs> offered to the chronic, psychotic, schizophrenic, long-term incarceration, she could find the finest artists of Brazilian history. Emilio de Barros had been considered by the art critics in the, in the 20th century as one of the most gifted ones, and uh, she uh, attributes that to the environment. You have to have a free and affective environment. And affection is certainly the most important contribution from Nisi da Silveira into psychiatry. Affection and creativity. Both together, creativity alone without affection doesn't work much, and affection without creativity doesn't work either. So the both together are a very powerful uh, remedy. She observed mythological symbols, mandalas, in the productions, in the spontaneous productions of those schizophrenics, and generated the largest museum for art and psychiatry in the world. We Brazilians, we have a complex of inferiority, but sometimes this complex of inferiority is broken, and we are able to produce incredible work. I have the Brazilian ambassador here. Uh, I, I apologize, ambassador, <laughs> for saying this. But, but we produced something really beautiful and genial, and I think this helps us a lot, and that's why I became a psychiatrist. Dr. Nisi went to work with Jung, Carl Jung, two years, and she says that Jungian psychology allowed her to penetrate into the images and the world of the, of the patients, and that's how she constructed the museum. And it is a resisting museum, there is no public investment, the government doesn't invest in it, and it's very small, uh, uh, still have a very small team, but it's still resisting because people are really, really very committed, committed to that. Out of those uh, discoveries that we have been doing in the communities and the territory of Rio, we uh, decided, because of the force of those discoveries, to occupy abandoned wards in the hospice. And this is the first mobile video that I did in the Madness Hotel when we were entering on it, which were abandoned wards. The, the hospice is like 80% deactivated, but we still have a large population of uh, chronic psychotic people. But the cultural agents of health started washing and, and we started doing that for the occupation, it really worked. And then we created the Occupy Nisi. So Occupy the hospice, Occupy the space, and this has been generating this kind of work, an uh, old uh, war that uh, Luisa Vidal, a brilliant young author, artist from, from Rio, she did this beautiful work. And this kind of work is coming, it's coming out. We don't control, we allow people to come and propose, they do what they want. We say, our rule is ethics and autonomy. You, don't, you can't uh, do to the other what you don't want that the other do, do, do to you, and you have to resolve the problems by yourself. So we have been doing all these performances in public spaces, in closed spaces, uh, pageants, I, I was struck by the similarities of the story of Hitler because he also did this kind of work in, in, in Jamaica and that's a synchronicity for me. And we have been working in this manner. Every human being is an actor, every human being is an artist, and every human being is a scientist. And this has been generating very powerful uh, images and spectacles and actions and rituals. We, in the first uh, year of 2012, that's when we entered the hospice, we generated this play, which that was the objective. The, the theater is our main work, 
but we have all kinds of artists working, which is the miracle play of Nisa da Silveira, where we tell this story in theater, and it was very interesting, in the public spaces, you know? So Dr. Nisi became a public space character, and all that with music, and poetry, and pageants, and uh, dance, and I find that very healing. It's healing for me. I achieved uh, psychic stability after I started doing theater nine years ago. So this kind of work is going on, and we are doing another uh, spectacle show, The Praise of Folly, that happened in 2012. Uh, this uh, community theater that we did in 2011, <coughs> but we have been working in this fashion. We also did uh, immunology seminars and science seminars uh, with Professor Yahon Cohen, who was my professor in the Weizmann Institute, and Professor Nelson Weiss, who is my, he still is my professor of immunology in Rio de Janeiro and in, in Belo Horizonte, in Minas Gerais. We have been doing uh, an adaptation for the Baca by Euripides in 2013, <laughs> Dionize Yourself, Dionize Yourself. <laughs> and coincidentally, Nisi is, Dionysus is Nisi twice, so there are still synchronicities. And the Occupy Nisi, that happens every year. You all are already, so you don't have money, I would ha love to have money to bring you all to, to Rio, but you are already invited to come in September, from 7 to 13 September, we're gonna make another Occupy Nisi in the uh, Madness Hotel. And you can stay in the Madness Hotel, it's quite decent, it's not five star, of course, but it's quite decent. There's clean water and hot water, this kind of thing. So we generated a 70 minute documentary movie by collaboration, we don't have money. We do by collaboration. How's the time? <laughs> two minutes. And the last play that we uh, did, we performed in the last two years, it started in the end of 2013 and it's coming through uh, 2015. While I'm here, the players keep performing there. They keep doing the workshops and the presentation, which is madness, yet there is method in it. <laughs> and these are some of my players that I miss a lot to work with them. It's a real uh, nice to, to, to share the work with them and to uh, learn from them and, and learn from the work. And we have all kinds of diagnoses. You, I won't say here because I can't, but it, we have all kinds of diagnoses in our crew. <laughs> and this has been a very interesting work and we have been working on this collective basis, We're working a lot with music. This is Amir Haddad, he's my professor of theater. He's also performing with us, with 78 years old. Collective, it's a collective ritual. Collective ritual, coletivo ritual. And this are the uh, artistic residency program that we have. It's a collective artistic residency program. So we offer space and madness and the artists come and they are interested in that, and young artists of Rio. And Rio has a huge creative potential. We have a seven million uh, city. It's, uh, it's crazy what is happening down there. So this is a Vopi Chapelada. It's called I'm Gonna Paint Naked. It's the name of the, of the collective. And the, 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 we have a, a television for internet. And we do events that put 400 people inside the hospice uh, doing uh, painting and working and singing and dancing and this happens totally free no money if anyone can come and make its own contribution and people understood that so we are uh, receiving each time better qualified contributions and better qualified works which is really uh, joyful for me so the Shakespeare is in the wall we have Shakespeare in the wall because he said totus mundus facitis trionem every human being is an actor and this has a reference for us, which is Professor Murray Cox from England, who's dead now, but he worked with Shakespeare in the Broadmoor Hospital, which is the hospital for the bad and the mad in London. So he had, a, he had the support of the Royal Shakespeare Company, which was really powerful, but I heard that the experience had been totally dismantled after Murray's death. Nisi knew that. Shakespeare says in the play that Polonius comics about Hamlet's madness, yet there is method in it. So they knew there was meaning in the delirium. And we have been doing this in the popular theater, working in the streets with circular dances and uh, constructive theater, improvisational theater, which is the language. It had always been like this. It's no, nothing new. 
And uh, these are the pageants, Shakespeare's in the pageants, you know, he's smiling with us, I know that, he's already gave us some signs that he's very satisfied to, to put him back in the street. He was a street performer, he was a person working with collective, big group, mm -hmm. and Bur I, I even had, they, they even brought me, the unconscious forces, even brought me to work in the church where Richard Burbage, which is the actor that played Hamlet in London, I worked there and I did some performances and I did some workshops, so for me that's a sign from the unconscious. <laughs> and the pageants where I work as an actor, it's another important formula of this work. We are all actors, we work together as actors and I found that to be an autonomy producing formula because I don't direct, I inspire them, I call them together, I work together and this seems to be a very traditional way of working, the rest is silence. It's over. This is the website for the People's University for Art and Science, which is also a, a, a social network. So you can make your profile and generate publications with, with us. It's an Assem blog, which is an assembly of blogs. And also map yourself. We have over 200 maps all over Brazil and outside Brazil too. We have been working with a lot of people from Brazil. And generate collaborative agendas. So you can come and put your own agenda there. Even, you know, the summer course is there. I put it there. So <laughs> they know I'm doing it. It's a short movie, two minutes, and I'm done. I don't, I don't have an audio here, right? Hang on a second. Because it's a trailer for the Hamlet movie that in the workshop I, I hope I'll, I'll be able to, to show. Okay. 